the game co-op is notoriously difficult, frustrating, and it just sucks to play. And it's got a bit of a history on YouTube for this reason. You really develop a hatred for this guy. Come on, you asshole! He's dancing on one foot! So I thought to myself, look, I know how to make games, uh, why don't I remake Crop? Surely that would be tons of fun. Oh man, this sucks. Hello everybody, my name is Julian or Flow Graphics, and today I'm going to remake the game Crop in under an hour uh, using Unity. So the first step was actually just playing the game Crop and trying to figure out how it works and how I can recreate it. Oh, okay, well I'm really not good at... <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be a long video. Um, oh man, this game is so- I can't even- I, I can't even get- my best is 1.3 meters. Okay, let's see if I can get like 10 meters. Okay. So if I hold, what, O, O and W, and I just tap Q. To give two cute little, little tippy taps. Oh, oh, please don't fall! <laughs> okay, okay, I got a bit too cocky there. Wow, this is a great little strategy that I've found. Okay. 10 meters. Okay, sweet, okay. I think I've got a pretty good understanding of how this game works. I'm just gonna get to it. I'm just gonna go into Unity and just start making stuff and really just see how I go. Here we go. That's what the body. Like this. <laughs> We've got a person. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna use like the 2D hinge joint. Uh, so Wait, that is zero and one maybe. What happens if we play? Oh jeez, that's terrifying. Oh, I haven't connected the rigid body, that's why, okay. Upper goes to body, right leg lower goes to upper, left leg lower. Oh, there we go, look at that, perfect, perfect. So, I don't know if that... Oh, okay, that's weird, it doesn't work like that. Let's make a controller, um, so a new script. Well, there's only four like motors that we're gonna need, so we'll go public, rigid body 2D, and what's a Q W O P public float, and then this will be like um, maybe we'll do it by upper and lower legs just in case it's a little bit different. Like, and then it's current rotation, which would be Q motor dot rotation, and then we want a plus like an angle, which would be the um, upper leg torque, um, and then times it by like time. I think that should work. Oh, oh, and then we go P and looks like, I don't know what a number for torque is, 100? Let's go 100. Q is what starts off to be the left leg and then W is the right thigh. O is, oh, o, what's P? Oh, it's opposite. Uh, Q is this left upper leg, left leg upper. So I'm going to do this in order. So Q, left leg, upper. And then uh, W. Okay, let's see what happens. Hit play. Um, my keys aren't doing anything. Nothing. Oh, I wasn't clicking in the game with it. What am I doing? Oh, it works. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we got... <laughs> okay, so we got it. So we got Q, W, lifts that leg. Um, Q, lifts... Okay, so it doesn't... Oh, they don't overlap. The legs aren't overlapping because they've got colliders. Of course. Okay, so we need to put the legs in different physics layers. That's easy. Left leg. Right leg. Not interact with right leg. And right leg not to interact with... We want to interact with itself, just not with each other. So right leg and left leg don't interact. Okay. So you can see there, that leg is flowing over the other one. My other leg is broken though. I had to turn off these limits. Ah, so it was... Okay, so we have... <laughs> well, I'm really impressed. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh, that leg's all like buckled. Um... <laughs> oh, I get what's happening here. That makes things interesting. If I press Q, one leg goes forward, and then the other leg, we minus that value, and it goes backwards. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the whole cue, both legs. That's so cool. Like, he fully, he actually walks. Oh, look at that. 
<laughs> okay, okay, I think we're onto something here. Okay, so we have our running track. I need to add in a level restart button. How do you do this stuff? <laughs> I totally forgot how to reload scene. What am I doing? Scene manager dot load scene. Oh, zero. Cool. Okay, that was easy. Yep, okay, space my reload to scene. Oh, d this is this is like exactly like what? <laughs> this, <laughs> this is giving me that same terrible feeling that when I play the game, like literally, I can't believe, I can't believe I managed to perfectly recreate the, the, the absolute torture of playing Quop. Unvoid, uh, die, tag, add tag, ground. I, I don't know, I don't even know if this is going to work. Okay, it doesn't work. Dot collider. Oh, okay. I think, I think that should work. No. Oh, is this 3D collision? Is there a 2D version? Oh, there is. There's a 2D one. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, is that going to work with 2D now? Probably not. Like, hey, there we go. Oh, okay. I was just, I was just using the wrong collision, of course. I'm not too good at drawing people. <laughs> uh, chest. Skin shading. This is fun. Okay, this definitely looks a bit terrifying. <laughs> Look, it's not terrible. Like it's, <laughs> it's not, it's not the worst person that I've ever made. Oh, there we go. What a legend. <laughs> oh, this is honestly one of my greatest achievements. Look, I know the original cop. He's got like this weird thing here, but I just, <laughs> I don't, I really don't like the look of that mound. It's, it's starting to frighten me a little bit. So I'm gonna, there we go, <laughs> there we go. I think that looks a lot better. Here is my absolute work of art. I, <laughs> yeah, there we go, uh, multiple. Then she's ready to like slice. Okay, I think I need to tweak things a little bit more, but I'm gonna actually create a score because there's no score for distance yet. UI text zero. Okay, so now we need to hook up the score. So basically the score is just the body's X position. One score. And curse score equal transform dot position dot X. How do you do the decimal place thing again? Unity F2. F2. So now my my high score is 1.6 meters. And then if I ever beat that, oh, it saves. Now I just need to make this controller a little bit less tortury. It makes me just as frustrated when I play the other crop. Oh, no, oh, I like bugged out. Oh, <laughs> no. Every, every 10 meters, I'll put one of these. So actually, maybe even, maybe every, every five meters. Every five, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get 10 meters, that's the goal. We'll do the shuffle. I just need to work up a bit of momentum, and I think the shuffle will become a bit easier. These are every five meters, so I think I should be Well, on my way to 10 meters. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. We made 10 meters. Let's see how far we can get. 10.7. I think it's great having these lines knowing every time you made 5 meters. Even though the scale of it's a little bit off. But it's just as hard to get. Oh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, we saved it. We saved it. Oh, no. Look, I must say, playing this game right now, it feels exactly like Quop. So I think, I think I'm pretty much done. I think I've done it. I've managed to somehow recreate Quop. It's got high scores. You can actually play it. Look, I'm going to make it so you can download this game in the actual video. So go down to the comments. I'll have a download link. I'll actually package up this game and you can play it right now. Message me all of your high scores. So go down to the comments or follow me on Twitter and post me like a screenshot 
of how many meters you got. I would love to see how far, or if anyone can get to the finish line, if someone can get to the finish line of this game, that would be amazing. I'll be very proud. So I'll, I'll definitely, whoever gets to the finish line, I'll be giving you a shout out in the next video. Hopefully, hopefully like you guys all don't find some sort of bug or loophole and I get, you know, a hundred people going to the finish line because that's going to be a lot of names to call out. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video. It's, it was really, really fun making this game and I've got, I've got a feeling I'm going to try and make an AI, like a, like an artificial, um, like a self-learning machine to try and learn how to play this game and reach the finish line. I think that's going to be my next goal is now trying to get uh, uh, the computer to play it for me. So I think that's going to be pretty fun too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making this. This was awesome. So I'm going to definitely be working on some more projects like this in the future. Um, so as always, everybody, hope you have an amazing day. It's been Julian of Flow Graphics here. See ya.